That's the phenomenal AJ Styles, and you're watching Red Out Live. What is going on, guys? Bread Alive back with another video, and today we have a brand new series here on the Bread Alive channel. It is called the Podium Series. So, in this series, we have the Mr. McMahon podium right here that came with his elite action figure what will we what we will be doing is we will be choosing a character a random carrier character uh not not necessarily every week but we are going to be doing this pretty frequently here on the channel not a set schedule on how how many of these videos are going to go up each week but yes in the comments you guys will let me know what character you guys want to see all my figures of this week i chose it because it's the first video obviously it is going to be john cena we're going to be going through all my john cena elites basics in my entire collection so we are going to get into it but again guys this is a brand new series let me know down in the comments down below what character you want to see next seth rollins aj styles anybody like that finn balor it could be absolutely anybody you guys want to see just let me know down in the comments down below by just leaving the character's name but yes guys today how this series works we will grab a figure right there we will pop it up on the podium if i have something to say about it i will i will de-accessorize it have it fully accessorized on and yes guys that's how the series is going to go you guys will get used to it if, the, if none of that even made sense, what I said. But yes, guys, here we go. Without further ado, let's jump right in. First figure we have up here is this random John Cena basic right here. Not really sure where I got this figure from. It's uh, definitely an older basic. Definitely probably came, ar came out around 2016. Definitely an older basic here. Nothing too crazy. I do have an elite form of this that we will get into very, very soon. But yeah, there's the back. Pretty nice decal there. But again, not really sure where I picked this up. Might have been a flea market. Could be wrong. If I did get it from a flea market, it might have been for $1. But I do not completely remember. But still, pretty solid basic John Cena figure. One of my favorite attires for Cena's shirt of all time. That is very freaking cool. The next figure we have up is the Elite Set. 71 John Cena. This is a pretty cool figure. This was the first ever John Cena figure that they released with the updated haircut, of course. That of course they did fully re-release this entire attire, which it was alright. I picked this up with I picked this one up from Ringside Collectibles, of course, using discount code live. It was kind of disappointing because the hat does not fit on the figure. I'll just show you guys what it looks like. If you guys want to force it on, that's what it friggin' looks like. Doesn't look good at all. But yeah, guys, still a pretty solid figure if you want to get an updated John Cena head scan with that hair. Still think it looks pretty nice. And there he is with none of his accessories on. Looking pretty solid, not gonna lie, like that green attire. I did do, I did do a little fix up on the elbow pad. That is from his WrestleMania 30 figure that I did sell. That's not gonna be featured in this video, but yeah, I do have that arm pad right there. Pretty solid figure, though. There he is again without any of his accessories. The next figure we have up on the podium is this John Cena basic. Mainly, if I remember right, he was feuding with Dolph Ziggler when he had this attire on. This was my first figure, WWE Mattel figure, I've ever bought. In, and this was the first figure ever in my collection. Pr pretty freaking staple in this collection of Bird Alive figures. Pretty solid attire, too. He's got the navy blue with the yellow C Nation logos all over it. Again, I picked this up from Walmart. I didn't even pick this up in my state. I was on like a vacation or something and I went to a Walmart. I'm like, oh my gosh, those are the, I just started watching wrestling like a couple years earlier and then I'm like, dang, that's a pretty solid John Cena figure. They have action figures. I picked it up and yeah, this has been my first figure ever since. So a little fun fact for the people that are watching this video. First ever figure right here. And of course it was a John Cena. The next figure we have up here on the podium, it is John Cena. One of the most iconic, defining moments, elite John Cena's of all time. This figure's so freaking sick. Just, oh my god, I actually picked this up from ToyCon Toy Show here in Illinois. And yes, guys, this is such a freaking cool figure. He came with his custom United States title as well as as well as well his custom WWE Spinner title. Solid freaking figure. Not going to be de-accessorizing it, but I did pay $60 for this figure. I got it mock -a got it in package still of the package just in case i ever want to repackage it put it up on display just such a freaking unique john cena i mean with that freaking orange jersey so freaking awesome man says cena on the back with the 13 two titles he's got his chain awesome hat oh just such a cool figure and also you guys couldn't see it in screen but yeah he does have the sneakers right there as well which just freaking top off the figure love the look of this one not gonna be again de-accessorizing this one because it just looks so freaking awesome man but yeah guys that's the next defining moments figure right there that's john cena next figure we have up here is the elite 64 if i'm not mistaken john cena as i already showed the elite 71 basically like a re-release just with the updated or like with the normal style of john cena haircut we're gonna take off the hat right now basically you're just getting your normal style haircut 
uh, instead of this one, but this is the newer Cena right here. But still, very cool Cena. Definitely more of his more relevant looks right here. Really like the look of that. And again, guys, basically already showed this figure. Same hat, same shirt, same attire, literally same everything. Just a different head scan. There he is without any of, it, any of his accessories on. The only thing different, uh, at least in my collection, did, again, did a little fix-up on the Elite 71, but yes, on the Elite 64, that is the normal elbow pad. I mean, um, armband that is supposed to be on there. Or headband. I mean, John Cena has it on his freaking bicep. That's because it's freaking massive. Picked this one also up from ringside as well. Discount code live, of course. Elite 64, what a stack series. And this John Cena is also pretty cool. Next figure we have up here is the John Cena Kmart exclusive action figure right here. This is the Fan Central when he was drafted to Monday Night Raw. What a moment that was. Very cool. The only bummer on this figure is he... You can't interchangeable interchange his hand. The only way you guys can do it is get some of your old, uh, or not necessarily old, but you can get some of your interchangeable hands that you have in your collection, heat up these hands, take them out, and then put them back in, Then these could be used as interchangeable hands. Might even end up doing that, but for the sake of the video, I just want to keep it looking like that. It does still look pretty freaking cool. I love the raw shirt, just so unique with the John Cena figure. The hat right here, we're going to get a closer up on that. Looks pretty good, says you can't see me, like the look of the head scan. I picked this one up from a flea market, mock in package. If you guys want to... Want some hints on the fine WWE figures? Go to flea markets. Go to garage sales. People don't know what they have. They could, you never know. They could have like an elite one Jeff Hardy for like five bucks. You never know. So yeah, guys, go to those things, and you never know. You could find a gem like this. Uh, I mean, not the rarest figure of all time, but still pretty cool to find it mock in package. And yeah, pretty cool. And there he is without any of his accessories on. Still pretty solid looking figure. I really like the look of these um, red arm bands right there as well. The white as well uh, as well as the white shoes with these nice looking jorts right there, which look really nice. I think the next figure we have up here is the uh, elite. WrestleMania uh, 34 Elite Heritage John Cena Elite figure right here. Pretty cool figure. I'm really into this one. When it first came out, I'm like, oh my gosh, very cool looking figure. The only bummer to it was that he didn't come with the title uh, that he held while he had this uh, attire on, which was pretty interesting. But still, pretty cool figure. It says, live fast, fight hard on the t-shirt. Really into this hat. I love the look of this hat. Very unique to a John Cena figure. Freaking camo. He's got a nice logo up on the front. Really like the look of that hat. Some nice looking camo armbands as well down there with some green shorts there and some black shoes. Really into this figure. I actually picked this one up again from Ringside Collectibles using discount code live. Most of these figures I pick up from Ringside, but you never know. Could pick some up from different places, but yes, this is uh, from Ringside right here. Pretty solid figure. And there he is without any of his accessories on it. Honestly, uh, not just saying this because I picked this up from ringside, but yes, one of the best John Cena head scans of all time in my opinion. I just think this is the best Cena head scan of all time. Just so freaking cool. I think it looks exactly like him. Definitely better than all the other ones that I've seen. Just, it resembles Cena exactly, I think, man. You can see some of his, um, uh, under underwear right there sticking out, which I think looks pretty nice. Add attention to detail, and again, guys, that's him without any of his accessories on right there. Looking amazing. The next figure we have up is honestly one of the most underrated defining moments elite figures of all time. I am really into this figure. If you want a thug life, John Cena thugonomics attired figure, this is it is right friggin' here, man. Until that decade of dominance elite comes out, this is what you're gonna have. But yeah, I already pre-ordered the entire series of decade of dominance. Just to let you guys know that video is gonna be coming soon. As of course, if those figures come out, but of course I pre-ordered some I'm definitely gonna be getting them. But yeah, guys, defining moments, John Cena right here. Looking pretty good. Again, guys, very very underrated figure. I was really into this figure when it came out. I paid 25 bucks for it. Got it. Oh, wait, no. I actually got it from a local Myers Superstore, and I think I only paid like 10 bucks for it because I think it might have been on clearance, which was a major deal for me because I've never seen it in the wild until there. I really like this attire right here. It says 54. It got the chain. Love the look of that. He's got this style of, I don't know if you would call this like a golf hat, but I th still think it looks pretty nice. Love the look of that. And there he is, fully de-accessorized, looking pretty freaking nice. I still really like the look, of, look at this figure, man. I bet you could get it for really cheap if you guys look on like Amazon, eBay. I would imagine it would be really cheap. If you see this figure for over like 20 bucks, I would not suggest buying it because it is definitely not worth it. You could guaranteed find a cheap one, but I really like this figure, man. It's a really nice one.
The next John Cena figure we have up here is this one. Not really sure the Elite Series that this one was in, but yeah, still pretty cool looking figure. with a Pretty unique with the orange shirt, if I'm being completely honest. I like the look of that decal right there. Again, guys, not sure what series this is. Let me know in the comments down below, but yeah, pretty solid Cena. If I remember right, I also think I did pick this one up from Ringside Collectibles as well. The only bummer about this figure is this shirt is insanely tiny. I wish the sleeves were like down to there and the shirt was way bigger. I mean, John Cena is a pretty freaking big dude. He does not deserve like a freaking Daniel Brian size shirt. I think he deserves a way bigger shirt than this, but still pretty nice looking figure like the orange as I said. And there he is fully de-accessorized with the orange right there as well as the blue right there. Looking pretty solid. Definitely a solid John Cena elite figure and then he also does have the blue, white, and black shoes. Pretty solid figure. I'm into this one. The next Elite John Cena figure we have up here is this one right here. Again guys, not sure about this Elite series. I know I know, before you guys start hating in the comments, I know he did not come with this hat and or this shirt. I fully uh, fixed up this figure. I think, it looks way, I think it looks way better with that Tribute to the Troops shirt right there with the camo pants. I love the look of this. No decals on the hat. I love the look of this fix-up. This is my personal fix-up, so I'm going to take off the accessories on camera. Let's get a closer look at this Elite Cena, man. So freaking cool. He did come with like a, I think it might have been like a You Can't Stop Me shirt, like in red, white, and blue. I'm not really sure, but still, I like my fix-up. I think it looks really good, but yeah, solid figure definitely, man. Really cool. Next figure we have up here is, I think this is the Elite 50 uh, John Cena figure right here. Pretty cool figure. Another red, white, and blue inspired attire. Very nice looking figure. Really into this hat right here. I think it looks really good. The red, white, and blue, of course. I wish this wasn't fully black. Of course, that's on John Cena because he designed his shirt. But still, I wish it could have been a different shirt because, again, guys, that's on John Cena, not Mattel. But still, very cool looking figure. Really into it. And I didn't say before, I picked this one up from Target for 20 bucks a while back. Uh, whenever Elite 50 came out, not really sure when that came out. Might have been a couple years ago. But uh, yeah, this one I paid 20 bucks for at Target. It's a pretty solid figure, man. I like that belt as well. The red, white, and blue belt. I think it looks pretty good. And then the yellow offset of the shoes. I think it looks pretty nice, man. Next figure we have up here is another fully fixed up John Cena Elite figure right here. When they gave us this blue John Cena, I'm like, okay, they're not giving us a cloth shirt. That's very interesting. Probably because they gave us this. But no, we wanted a cloth shirt, so I bought this custom cloth shirt. Uh, not off of eBay. I actually got it from ToyCon. I think I paid like two or three bucks for the shirt. Pretty solid deal to me. I think it looks really good. I love the look of it. He even got the decal on the side, which looks amazing. Hustle loyalty respect right there, as well as that, as that amazing decal on the front. Fully fixed up with that. He came with the United States title. Thing looks amazing on there, as well as the blue hat. Definitely one of my favorite Cena attires ever with this blue shirt. I just love the friggin' look of it, man. If I could display this figure, I would. But, oh, man, I'm not into displaying. I love playing with the figures, man. I think it's way more fun than just displaying them. But, yeah, I love the look of the Cena, man. And there he is, fully unaccessorized with the blue armbands. Again, guys, one of my favorite attires from Cena. Just so freaking awesome. Love it, man. It says Hustle Lawyer to Respect around the belt as well. That is so freaking cool, man. Love that figure. The next figure we are going to be getting into is this old John Cena Elite figure. Again, guys, I'm not sure about the series on this one as well. But this is, of course, when he was feuding with The Rock slash The Nexus uh, like that. But, yeah, pretty solid-looking figure. I love this shirt, man. Mattel used to put a lot more work into their T-shirts. They don't really put too much work. I mean, this material that they use now is pretty cheap, not going to lie. Compared to this, man, this is like actual like T-shirt material right here. Feels amazing. Says never give up. C Nation on the front. It's also got the decal on the side. Made by Mattel, man. So freaking cool. The On the hat, I know. I don't know if it's just on mine, but the You Can't See Me logo is a little offset from this center, which it doesn't really bug me too much. If you just pop the hat on like that and turn the figure like that, you can't really notice it, but still, looks pretty good. Love the look of this figure. And if I didn't say this before, I did pick this one up from eBay. I got it mint on card for, I think, maybe like I think it was like really cheap to um, like retail price. I think I got it for like 22 bucks with tax. But yeah, pretty solid elite figure. John Cena got it mint on card again from eBay. And it's such a friggin' solid figure. No nicks beside that little black mark right there. But still, nothing to worry about. Looks really good, man. Love the look of this figure. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Definitely let me know down in the comments down below what was your favorite friggin' figure of John Cena that I have in my collection. Let me know your favorite that I have right here in front of you. Let me know, let me know in the comments down below. Smash a massive like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure, again, guys, comment down below what figure or character you guys want to see next. Again, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor. It could be absolutely anybody. Just let me know. 
in the comments down below, and I would love to know. But yes, guys, this has been the video for today. Really big enjoyed. Brutal Live out.